Okay, now let's take another generating function. Take g of x to be the generating function whose nth coefficient, now just to distinguish it from the preceding one, I'll say that nth coefficient is bn, is the number of partitions of the integer n into distinct parts. First one was, oh, this is a slide with 38 on it. Because the, the word, the English word here is supposed to be odd parts. Now, make, a, make a note on this slide. When, when, I, when, I, when I post it, I'll correct this word. The, this is supposed to be the number of partitions of n into odd parts. The generating function is written, written correctly. The English sentence above it is not. OK. so. With the understanding that this is supposed to count the number of partitions in the odd parts, look at the function and let's explain why. All right, it's 1 over 1 minus x, 1 over 1 minus x cubed, 1 over 1 minus x to the fifth, etc. All right, pick one of those terms, like the 1 over x to the seventh. Now, let's use geometric series. What is 1 over 1 minus x to the seventh? 1 over 1 minus ratio. Answer, 1 plus x to the seventh plus x to the 14th plus x to the 21 x to the 28, x to the 35th, x to the 42nd, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Just the, the exponents are multiples of 7. So when I take some big number n, and I am trying to get the coefficient of x to the n, I take a power from x of x from the first term, a power of x from the second, et cetera. I pick up a power from that term, 1 over 1 minus x to the seventh. That's a term like x to the 35, or x to the 56. What is that counting? It's counting the number of sevens in the partition. The first one counts the number of ones. You can have as many as you want. But it's all ones. The next one, 1 over 1 minus x cubed, is parts of size 3. You can have as many 3's as you want. The next one is 5's, then 7's, then 9's, then 11's, etc. Now, to make sure that we're on the same page, I want you to tell me what this is. This is the generating function for what? One plus x times one plus x cubed plus times one plus x to the five plus one plus x to the seventh plus etc. Et et what is that in words? What's the nth coefficient? Exactly. All, let me repeat it a little louder, what you, what you said. He said it's distinct odd parts. It's the number of partitions of the integer n into parts, all of which are distinct and all of which are odd. OK, what's this? I'm going to stop right there. What's that? What's the, this is the generating function for something.
Anybody? Partitions of an integer, parts of size one, you either have none, one, or two. Parts of size two, you either have none or one. Parts of size three, you have none, one, two, or three, that's it. So you can't get x to the 100. So this is the generating function for a sequence which terminates. But I can say in words what all the coefficients are. Again, partitions of an integer n in which, if you look at the parts of size 1, there are either none of them, one of them, or two of them. I get those from the first term. If you look at the parts of size 2, there are either none of them or two of them. Ah, no, no, none or one. Zero or one. Parts of size two. Parts of size three. They're either none of them, one, two, or three. Okay. Hopefully we're, we're understanding each other. Okay. <clears throat> 